Autism is a common problem nowadays. We are seeing a lot of children with autistic spectrum disorders. And the common question I get from parents, does it go away? Can the autism go away? Can my child become absolutely normal? Can he go to the normal school? Can he live a normal life? It's a difficult question. So today I would uh, try to address, can it go away? I would try to be focused and I'll try to I mean, speak for four or five minutes, not too long, so that you can listen it and uh, uh, make sense out of it. So autism, the main issue, uh, I mean with autism is, still we don't know the correct cause of it. Although it has been researched in the last two decades thoroughly, lots of genetic, metabolic and other causes have been uh, researched and yes, some genes have been identified as well. But still, we do not have a cause like, you know, if you have a fever and you do a blood test and you find out, yes, this is typhoid or you do an X-ray chest, this is pneumonia and you treat with this antibiotic and this disappears in two weeks course or three weeks course. So we don't have any magic wand like that uh, where we uh, treat the autism and it disappears. But it should not frustrate you uh, altogether. It doesn't mean that uh, we cannot do anything about autism and uh, it is a life-taking situation. No, it's not. The main key in autism, I would say, is the early diagnosis and early intervention. If we diagnose these children at an early stage, yes, we should try to find out the cause. As I said, in up to 20-25% if I stretch is too hard, no? you could see my uh, previous video that would entail all the causes of autism and what we should do to investigate and you know, all I have uh, you know, I don't want to repeat that in here. Uh, <clears throat> if you do all of them and let's say if you have some cause, let's say you might find there is some underlying epilepsy actually, no? We call it epileptic encephalopathy or there are some names to it, Lendoclapton syndrome or so on. And if you start treating that particular then the success rate is pretty high. In more than 50% of cases, we can get very, very good results. But the second scenario, where we don't find the cause. In this situation, even in that, there are lots of therapies that we should be focused on. One, the nutrition of the child should be appropriate. Some people say that there is some evidence of omega-3 fatty acids, you know, DHA. Uh, yes, I mean, in some cases it does help, but it's not a panacea. They are very expensive medication and if you start taking them, don't expect miracles overnight. It might help and maybe in a couple of months time. That's how I, I do in many you know, parents. I, I tell them that this is not a panacea and if you try for a month or two, if you don't see any difference, then probably you can stop it. This may not be meant for you. And what with the therapies, all the therapies like occupational therapy, speech therapy, sensory integration, uh, applied behavior analysis. Sometimes now it is, you know, people are trying some music therapy, yoga therapy, lots of other things have been tried. Uh, but occupational therapy, ABA, speech, they are pretty evidence-based that uh, should be used in these children. And if you use them appropriate, appropriately, the outcome is good. I, I cannot tell you the exact percentage, but uh, grossly I can tell you, the children that I have seen who are on the mild autistic spectrum, they can kind of, you know, come out of the autism. It, it may be difficult. I, I, I do see some children whom I have diagnosed with autism or been diagnosed autism by somebody and they are taking good therapies and they, they, they visit again, let's say, after a couple of years. It becomes difficult to say that, you know, this child had autism because they do so wonderfully well. On the other hand, if the child is an autist, uh, moderate autistic spectrum, uh, with all the therapies and stuff, they, they could come back you know, that uh, they are on the wide spectrum now after taking all the treatment and therapies. So yes, there are, uh, I mean, good opportunities. And people up to moderate uh, spectrum, their IQs are pretty okay. The only thing is, you know, the, the energy is not generalized and the way they are thinking it is different, the personality is different. But it doesn't mean that their IQ is low. But unfortunately, the children who are on severe spectrum, who are on the bad side of the uh, autistic spectrum disorder, they have issue with their IQ as well and it becomes difficult you know, for them to uh, uh, integrate with the mainstream children and it is a struggle I understand. But overall if I say if we diagnose them early and uh, 
treat them appropriately with the medication wherever required or therapies, uh, then the outcome is not that well. So let's hope uh, we don't have autistic children in the family. If we have one, we identify them early and treat appropriately so that the outcome is good. Thank you very much.